Hello, Kathy Project. I wanted to answer a couple of common questions and some things that you posted about aniracetam and about Alzheimer's science in general. So recently, as you know, there have been uh, revealed that there have been some fraudulent studies. Specifically, about 10 years ago, there was a study that said that the plaque was the major problem. Now, plaque in the brain, amyloid plaque, is not good, and it does cause deficits, but the study... Um, exacerbated the the problem and it made it seem like the plaque was the only problem. And so that shifted the research away from other things like inflammation and like loss of set loss of neurons and loss of synapses. And what we, what we know, if you look at earlier data is that it's actually loss of synapses and loss of neurons. That's more of a problem than the plaque. And so the drugs that have been targeting just the plaque, that's been a wasted effort because it's not just the plaque. In fact, there's someone who commented on this video or on the earlier video, excuse me, that said that she was in a study that removed plaque and it made her memory worse. And so that was the fraudulent study and it's misdirected pharmaceutical research for the past 10 or 20 years. I don't remember exactly when. So that's the fraudulent science. And there is a lot of science to show that there are many things that can be done to help slow down and stop the memory loss associated with Alzheimer's disease and even reverse the memory loss as well as prevent Alzheimer's disease. These things include uh, anti-inflammatory supplements, an anti-inflammatory diet, exercise, sleep, reducing stress, having a mission and purpose in the world, even things like Viagra. Viagra increases blood flow and oxygen to the brain. That recently, there was a recent study that showed that that reduces the risk of Alzheimer's by 69%. And then uh, sex, sex specifically for men is shown to reduce Alzheimer's risk and exercise in, in middle life for women greatly reduces the risk of Alzheimer's disease. A new study on mushrooms recently reduced, showed that there's a great reduction in the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Now, specific to aniracetam, people ask about side effects. The side effects are awesomeness. I take aniracetam regularly. I feel awesome. It improves mood, improves focus, attention, and memory. It's great. Uh, side effects are minimal in general. No one has dropped out of a study because of the side effects, and the side effects are basically headache, nausea. If you take a B vitamin, um, and you don't take too much, it's usually fine. Take aniracetam with a fat, that increases absorption. Aniracetam is very, very safe. It does not elevate liver enzymes, and um, it's, it's really safe, it's well tolerated, it improves memory in both animal studies and human studies. I take it on a regular basis. My parents take it. Um, I highly recommend it. Talk to your medical doctor first. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not giving you medical advice. I'm a neuroscientist. I'm sharing the data with you. And then Kathy Project, if you have other questions, please let me know. God bless you. Talk to you soon.